I don't normally like using the word perfect when it comes to e-commerce. However, I came across a Google shopping ad which gets as close to perfection as possible. And in this video, I want to go over this one Google shopping ad which can hopefully help you understand what makes Google Shopping ads work the right way and what you can do for your e-commerce brand so you can scale it to the next level with Google Shopping or just Google ads in general. Now, I was looking for men's bathrobe not to purchase one for myself, but to rather do keyword research just in general to see what's out there. And I came across this one specific brand, which is called Personalization Mall, which had this men's bathrobe ad going on. And while there were many other bathrobes that were getting sold within this just one section alone, my eyes directly went to this specific ad right here. And there are various reasons as to why this happened, which we're gonna cover. Let's start off with first understanding why this brand is so successful. So if we go on over to the website and first of all, look at similar webs extension, Chrome extension, we can see that this brand in the month of November got 8.5 million visitors. And then on the month of December, the very next month, over 12 million visitors. That's already a very big number. But the main reason why this brand is something that I really look up to as of right now is because if we scroll down, look at the traffic sources, we can see 51% comes from search, which essentially means this brand is heavily relying on Google ads for traffic. So it's pretty obvious that they're getting a lot of results and a lot of scale from Google ads, hence why they're investing so much of their advertising budget on Google ads, and they're generating millions and millions of visitors every single month, which of course equals to about multi-million dollars in revenue. Now, let's take a little bit of a closer look into the actual ad which came up right here and understand why it's doing so well. First things first, we searched up for the keyword men's bathrobe and this product came up. Not something else, but rather a men's bathrobe. This is where real success starts off with, which is relevancy. Because believe it or not, shopping ads success is heavily determined on how relevant your products are to what is being searched. So for example, if I had searched up men's bathrobe and a woman's bathrobe had come up or a child's bathrobe had come up, that would be irrelevant as a result. Whatever brand that was appearing with that woman's bathrobe or that child's bathrobe would not be able to scale further with shopping ads. So this relevancy is one of the biggest key indicators of success when it comes to Google Shopping Ads. Now, we're gonna kinda skip over the image and go on right to the title because this relevancy topic is directly related to the title itself. So when it comes to relevancy, you need to ensure your title is as relevant as possible to what you wanna be ranking for. Let's just take a quick look at what they have done for their titles. The title reads, Men's Just For Him Personalized Luxury Navy Fleece Robe Valentine's Day dot dot dot, which essentially means there's more to the title. But in the beginning, they've already covered a large portion of what's important. They've told Google's algorithm and the customer looking for these kinds of products that, hey, this is a personalized luxury Navy Fleece Robe. They're including these words on purpose. First of all, Things like luxury are just add-on words that nobody really searches for luxuries, men's bathroom, unless of course they're billionaires or millionaires. But just giving off the feel of luxury despite selling the product for only $56 is what does the trick of enticing a potential customer to click on the ad and eventually purchase from them. So these enticing keywords are something I've always mentioned that you should be including within your titles, things like luxury or premium or portable, anything that adds a little bit of authority to your product itself is recommended within the title itself. And then it should be followed by certain SEO keywords. Like here, they have navy fleece robe. Even though it doesn't say bathrobe fully, it still has that main word. And as you can see, once Google's algorithm understands, even through these slight words which you have included and the overall type of people interacting with your ads, it's still gonna show your ads to the right people when the right searches are done. So having the right kind of title is super important. Plus, one thing I really liked about this brand which made me choose this over Pottery Barn because if you look at the images, they're pretty much very similar to each other and one of the main reasons why I chose this brand is because of the image 
is because they have included Valentine's Day or some relation to it. Now, I'm recording this video on February 9th. Valentine's Day is just a few days away, but this brand utilized Valentine's Day, an event within the title. So if somebody, for example, is typing in Valentine's Day gift for him or Valentine's Day gift for boyfriend or husband or whatever the case might be, there's a very good chance that this product will show up. Now, will that lead to the most amount of sales and profitable sales? Not exactly, because those words are very broad. However, it still has an extra effect and really pushes that person or that woman or that girl, whoever is looking at this product in the eyes of buying a gift onto the other side and really makes them want to purchase. So these are things which really kind of made me want to look into this brand a bit further, but also are things which other people, potential customers, look into when it comes to these kinds of products. So title is what they had already gotten right for them. It was very detailed, very descriptive. That's kind of the first pillar of success with Google Shopping. The second pillar is the image. Now, again, not a lot of these images are similar to this one. I mean, there's only one other brand, which is Pottery Barn, which has a very similar image to this one. And it might be because they just decided to copy personalization mall style for the image. But I don't blame them because this is the style that works for this niche. Now, the reason why this works is because if you look across majority of the competitors, 99% of competitors either have a full image of the bathrobe or somebody's wearing the bathrobe. Those are just what majority of the competitors are doing. Personalization Mall decided to be different, decided to be unique, and it decided to fold it up and offer a different view of the bathrobe. Now, a person in this niche doesn't exactly need to see a full bathrobe fully open to know the overall design or whatever intricate details that come with the bathrobe. They just need to see the color and the overall style. But the way that Personalization Mall laid it out helped my eyes personally and also is what happening to a lot of other customers directly kind of glaze over these ones and go directly to that itself. Why? Because it's unique, it stands out. So the number one thing you need to get from this in terms of the images, choose a main image which stands out from the competitors and it's just different. It could be a wide background image if everybody else is doing lifestyle like these people right here or it could be a lifestyle image if everybody else is doing a white background, or it could just be a folded up piece of cloth or a folded up product which you sell, which just has a different angle compared to majority of your competitors. That's often enough to do the trick for the image itself. Now, we move on to the pricing. With the pricing, I always say be the average of your top five competitors. Try not to be the most expensive and try not to be the most cheapest. That's what Personalization Ball did right here, whereas where their competitor, Pottery Barn, decided to be sort of the cheapest, which in reality won't bring the best amount of results if you really think about it. But Personalization Mall has a price right in the middle. In fact, I would even say that they could sell this product for a bit higher and still get the same amount of results. Because if we look at the brands coming in the front, like LL Bean, the company store, Brooklyn Inn, these are much more expensive bath robes. And of course, there's reasons why they're more expensive, probably because of the quality, so on and so forth. But definitely pricing is not something you should be competing on it should always be about being right in the middle not being the most expensive nor should you be the most cheapest but personalization mall got that perfectly down to the t moving on now to the final thing which is the google merchant center programs and promotions or in this case the lack of now i say the lack of because every almost every single brand right here besides pottery barn and personalization mall and this brown of london usa don't have any reviews for their products. And you might be thinking, what does that even mean? I mean, isn't that kind of a bad thing that they don't have reviews? Not exactly, because if every single one of these brands has reviews, there is no way for any brand to then stand out from the crowd because then it becomes a battle of who has the most reviews. On the other hand, if you wanna really stand out from the competitors, you just come in with your ad which has no reviews, so it immediately stands out from the crowd. And you don't always need to stand out in the best possible way, like with the reviews and all these decorations. Sometimes just lacking these things can really even help you do the trick and help you stand out, which is what happened with Personalization Mall. I mean, as I was looking at these reviews, my eyes immediately went over to this one because there were no reviews for either of these. 
So the, even though that might be sort of a negative thing in general, in some cases, it can be very positive. In this case, personalization mall was able to use it as a positive effect. And as a result, you can see it's still ranking number four and doing multi seven figures per month just via Google ads alone. But in addition, they do have this one code available here, which you can use. Again, that is a bit different because the brand right next to it is offering only free shipping. And these other brands right here also are offering just free return, 365 day returns, 90 day returns, so on and so forth. So one way they stood out was they noticed nobody here is really offering a coupon or anything like that. So they went into the Google Merchant Center and they decided to offer it. But these are many key things which I always implement or have brands I'm working with under my Google Ads agency implement, which if you're currently doing $40,000 or more per month in revenue, you need just a little bit of extra help scaling to the next level with Google Ads. Go onto my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can possibly work together and make that happen. But kind of my overall thoughts on what makes a Google shopping ad successful, again, with what personalization mall did, it's all about being relevant. First of all, that's the most important, followed by having a very good image that just stands out. It does not have to be the best quality. It just needs to stand out. But that kind of eases into having keyword relevancy with the titles, having a very competitive price, not too cheap, not too expensive, but also offering some kinds of coupons or any types of promotions which help you stand out, which your customers are doing and having or not having certain Google Merchant Center programs like reviews. You don't always need to implement every single thing out there, especially if your competitors, your competitors are always are already doing that. Think outside the box. Sometimes it's good to not have everything installed. But if you want to take your brand a bit further to the next level, watch this video right here on the right side of your screen, which talks about my seven new Google Ads strategies I'll be implementing for brands I'm handling under my agency, your marketing, as well as for my own brands in 2023 and onwards.